Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to get Reshade onto your Combat Master. Reshade is completely free and unbannable, and basically what it does is it makes your game look insanely beautiful. With Reshade, you can press a hotkey, and it'll pull up this menu. So, as you can see, if I press reload right here, it'll reload all my settings, and it'll go really gray and dark. That's what the game normally looks like without my Reshade. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first step is you're gonna wanna head to your browser. When in your browser, you wanna head to a website called reshade.me. There will be a link in the description as well. So once you're at the website, it should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, it's probably not the right website. So as you can see, there is a download button right here, completely free. All you have to do is click it. So now once you click the button, it's gonna bring you to this page. Just click the top one, it is the newest one. So once you download it, it should pop up with a reshade setup. Just go ahead and run it. All right, now that we have ran the program, it will show you a bunch of games you can add a reshade to. So, so we are looking for Combat Master. So now once you click Combat Master, uh, click whatever operating system I guess you have. I just use Microsoft Direct 10, 11, 12. Because I already have reshade installed, it's going to ask me to update reshade. So I'm just going to click update. And there we go. It's finished. However, with you... It's going to ask to install a bunch of effects. Just be sure to check all the boxes as it is asking you to download each effect. All right, so now that you have downloaded Reshade, we can go ahead and minimize. We can go ahead and launch the game. All right, now that we are in Combat Master, all you have to do is press the home button on your keyboard and it will open up this menu. Now, if you want to copy any of the settings I have, I'm going to scroll through them and you can look. So I use contrast stretch.fx, local contrast cs.fx, tone map.fx, and vibrant fx. All right guys, so as you can see, all the colors have been added and it looks super vibrant now. Now, you don't have to copy all the settings that I showed in the video. However, it's just personal preference. There is so many different options to choose from. Anyway guys, I would like to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and share. And while you're down there, please hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to get to 500 subs. And uh, yeah, peace.